Hey guys, welcome back to part 7 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations. So in the previous part, we had little Austin here age up, and I think he is absolutely freaking adorable. And Athena here is just about to go ahead and pick up his cute, or she was just about to pick him up. Um, that's so sweet. Why can't she pick him up, though? Oh, I actually earned 132 lifetime happiness points. Too cool. Maybe Grandma is? I don't know. Uh, we actually have Kanahia going ahead and taking the leak, which is awesome. He's actually not doing it in his pants for once. He um, is going to go ahead and watch scrimmage at the stadium. Um, I don't know. It's just one of these little opportunities that we have. So he's going to go ahead and uh, kind of bail and go and do that. I think Sherry here is just here with the kids, listening to some music. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and actually pick up the birthday boy here. I don't like him on the floor like that. <laughs> we're gonna toss him in the air. Oh, she's so cute. Or they're both cute. He is cute. She's cute. The whole nine yards. Um, a lot of you are getting really upset with me, saying that I am ruining the family. Nobody said about ruining the family. They're going through a rough time. It happens. Not everything's peaches and cream, and Generations is all about reputations and all sorts of things. That include <gasps> cheating. I know it sounds so horrible, but you know what? I do believe things like this can either make or break a family. And like I said, I'm not thinking of breaking up the family, so don't worry. And also, this was requested. Please, go ahead and stop doing that. Thanks. We got all this music on and stuff. Um... Okay, we're gonna bring up little dude upstairs and let him play, I think, for a little bit. Oh, maybe we're not. What are we doing? Can we have him go ahead and go up here? Did you put him back down? I think you did. Oh, she's gonna go tell her to stop doing that. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get sassy. Let's see. Okay, she 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 gave her the finger. Um, I think the party's over and everyone's going home. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Uh, however, we are going to go ahead and probably have Sherry take little guy to the park or something. We could take them all to the park, but I don't know. I think Sherry kind of wants to, yeah, she wants to go on a date with Nick. So we are going to go ahead and forget about the tattoo. Uh, let me go ahead and see. We are going to invite him out somewhere. Hopefully he'll agree. It's been a few days. I am thinking the beach would be really nice. Not that beach, though. That's not that cute. Um, isn't there anything a little more majestic? You know what? I guess the Lagoon Beach is fine. So let's go ahead and see if you'd like to meet us there. All right. And obviously, we're going to have to get a babysitter. Okay, it says, sure, sounds like fun. Let's meet there. She's so excited. <laughs> She's like, jelly, gee whiz. Hmm. Poor girl, she getting herself in some trouble. All right, well, while she, he, uh, she, he, she is doing that, we're gonna, we're gonna have uh, Blake go ahead and discover some potion. We've got little dude over here picking his nose, eating his boogers, but we're gonna have him go over here and probably um, just hang out for a little bit. I was gonna have him play with his doll, but it doesn't look like he got one yet. Okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and get one out of the toy box here. Oh, we can't. All right, transform. Oh, it's not a toy box, Jen. That's why. <laughs> I was wondering what the problem was. Actually, we need to go ahead and buy one, and we need to also buy a pate. So we can just pick up those few things really, really, really fast. Um, we'll just go ahead and grab this potty, and also let's pick out um this toy chest. And... I like the way that looks, but we'll definitely color coordinate this one. Actually, you know, we could probably just make them the same. There we go. That's perfect. Cool. All right. And then we can I'll probably go ahead and open up this and take a toy out for little dude to play with. All right. Actually, you know what? We can just do it like that. There. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so I think Sherry's there, and she's being chatted to by Nick. For some reason, he's strangely invisible. Where'd he go? I don't know. Where is he? Is he coming, or, or is she talking to him? What the heck is going on? Okay, he's there. He's there. I don't know what to do. You guys have got me to one. Um, we are going to promise to protect him, and we are going to flirt. And I think we're going to make a move. 
under this beautiful like twilight almost and it says oh <laughs> poor blake <gasps> fiddlesticks Blake failed to discover a potion. Keep it. Keep up his relentless pursuit of scientific discovery. Poor guy, he burnt himself to a crisp. We're gonna let him go ahead and play with patterns or pick up patterns, and then actually we're gonna play with him too. I think there we go. Let's go ahead and play with him. So we are on a date, and he is flirting back with us and complimenting us. Uh, we are going to do a actually let's ask him to protect us is he still watching scrummage no we're gonna have him go ahead and go home let's see i'm thinking we should compliment his personality we're gonna go ahead and i don't know you guys got me so scared i don't know what to do we're gonna ask him to watch um Watch, ask, watch the stars with us. I don't really see. Oh, it's it's like a twilight sort of thing right now. So hopefully he will accept. Oh, how amazing! They do look kind of cute together. All right, I don't know if he accepted. Did he? Okay, I think they're gonna go look under the stars. Alrighty. Oh, I don't know why. I mean, I know why she likes him so much, but I think she's really confused. You know what I mean? Like, con. You know, the kids. It just. It kind of changes everything, and it makes things, I don't know, just kind of routine, and this is what she misses, being able to do this with Connor, and just kind of, I maybe they rushed into a family, you know, too, too quick. I really don't know. Who is crying? Oh, it's this lady's kid right here. Oh, But yeah, look at them. Oh, they're so cute. And she feels like so... See, she's attracted to him. Oh, I don't know what to do. Okay. Um, we are going to go for the heat of the moment kiss. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. You guys are going to hate me, but we're going to do it. <laughs> I don't know if he will accept, though. He knows she's a married woman. And he doesn't care, you know? Like, he can wait literally eternity for this woman. And... I think the next thing is, is he's going to try to convince Sherry to be a vampire, you know, so that they can be together forever. And, uh, you know, I don't think she's ready to do all that. <gasps> and see, Sherry has a naughty reputation. Uh oh, and you have to be really careful who sees you being romantically involved because they'll go back and somehow we're through the grapevine. It'll get back to her husband and oh my my, that would be a problem. So we are just going to go and continuously, um, you know, we'll, we'll, I don't know if we should keep being romantic or what, but we're going to, we're going to hold hands and we're going to go ahead and actually take a romantic photo together. Okay. And then after that, we're just going to kind of, uh, uh, we're not going to confess to cheating, obviously. That would be a really stupid idea. Um, we're going to just kind of also be a little more friendly. Keep keep it on the down low. So there's a little photo together. And hopefully Connor will never see it. I don't know. Connor's home now, I think. And uh, he needs to make sure the boys are all taken care of. Little dude over here is crying. He's hungry. So let's go ahead and actually have Connor feed him. Oh, feed him on the floor for now. And then Connor's also going to probably eat this cake slice since it's just sitting there. Um, Blake is still playing with patterns, and he's not going to give up on this this little potion station here. He's definitely going to learn how to make some new things. We're going to have him just kind of tidy up a little bit. Uh, I think he has to work on homework, so we'll have him go ahead and do that. He's not really hungry or anything, but he's definitely, definitely fried. Um, okay. And I think if Connor found out Sherry was cheating on him, it would kill him. It would break his freaking heart, and he would kill Nick. Like, there wouldn't, it wouldn't be a joke. He would, he would kill Nick. Like, it's, it's not even funny. And I think if, a lot of the reason why Sherry's doing what she's doing is because she feels like Connor just doesn't understand her needs. And that's, that's a big problem in any kind of relationship. If there's misunderstanding, things kind of happen, so... It's not, I mean, it's bad. Cheating's bad, but it's, like, not as serious as everyone's. Ma People are making me feel like I'm a damn serial killer, okay? I love cereal. We don't do that. <laughs> Just kidding. But, uh, don't worry. I got this. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and potty train him. 
and you know they're being really romantic and things like that and uh I don't know. What could we do right now? Oh, he's complimenting us. Can we go ahead and play in the ocean with him? Or have we already done that? I don't really know if we've done that. Um, let's see. Go here. Or swim here with dates. I kind of want to do something with him, but I'm not exactly sure what. I don't want to get in trouble. I know that for sure. So uh, she's a little bit hungry. Is there anywhere we could go that would be kind of nice? We could go eat over at the local diner. Mm, I think we'll just go there. Yeah, we'll go to the diner and we're going to eat here with the date because she's really, really hungry right now. And I'm sure he is hungry, but not exactly for the same thing she is, if you know what I mean. But uh, it's going to be, it's going to be, um, it's going to be a, a, a tough, a tough decision. Are she, is she waiting for him? I mean, he's a vampire, right? So he should be like running super fast. Like, I don't know what he's doing. He's just kind of standing right there. Um, he might change into his, his winter clothes. So, All right, I'm going to go ahead and let them just do that real fast. And Connor's being an amazing daddy and taking care of his little boy. All right, and he's going to go ahead. And somebody said you have to wait till they're sleepy to be able to read them a book. Uh-huh, you do. All right, so we are going to read him. Frank, I'm not. And then Blake, once he is done, he is going to have to sleep in his bed. Now that Austin's a little bit bigger, it shouldn't bother him as much, I don't think. So let's go ahead and see. Whoa! What the hell is that? It's a damn string bean. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that? What was wrong with him? He was like baby on steroids. I don't know, it was a little creepy, but... What are you doing, Connor? Can you read him to sleep, or what's going on here? Oh! He just fell asleep. There was no reading required. Awesome. Okay. Never mind then. Uh, all right. Well, with that said, we're going to have him go sleep in his bed tonight. You know, he's going to try to get Sherry off of this little quan that she's about and see if maybe she'll talk about it, you know? Um, Blake is just about done with his homework. He's kind of tired too, but he's not that bad. So we'll have him go ahead and kind of kind of speed it up a little bit. And then we are going to have him go ahead and... Uh, Go upstairs and sleep in his bed. We could have him check for monsters. Let's go ahead and have him check for monsters. He's He's been hearing some strange things in his room lately and wants to see if there's anything under here. So it looks like Connor and Kirsten need to spend a little more time. We all know Kirsten's a very needy girl, so. <laughs> Need, very needy grandma, rather. And she, she always needs to have attention because she kind of gets jealous. Is there any monsters, Blake? <gasps> ah! There is! There's monsters! Run! <laughs> he's like, oh, hell no, I'm not sleeping there. So he's gonna go crawl in with Dad, and he's gonna sleep in there tonight. Alright, looks like Sherry is just about done. Spending time with Nick. They're caught in the rain. Aww. Did she actually go with him? I don't know. Hopefully. Where is he at? I don't know. <gasps> Who's this? Oh, Casey! Um... Hi. Uh, hello. Awkward. What do you do now? Talk to her? Do you ignore her? I mean, um, I don't really know what to say to her. Let's just ask about her day. <laughs> we're not here with your brother. We're with some other random guy. And looks like, looks like Nick was pretty smart and decided to uh, bail out. So I think he's going to go home. But it was the date was pretty good, and she actually wants to kiss Nick too. So I just I just don't know what to do, you know? Like eh, this is so tough. Like I love Sherry, and I love the idea of her and Connor. But at the exact same time, it's like well, I don't even know what she wants. But I know one thing for sure: she definitely loves her children, and she definitely loves Connor's family, even though they may not have the best relationship. You know, I just think she's going through a rough patch right now. She's actually trying to find herself. So. We shall see. Um, we're going to actually just kind of hang out with her for a few minutes. Uh, we're going to ask about our alma mater. You know, just kind of talk with her because it's been, it's been kind of a while. I could uh, confess my attraction for Nick to her, but I'm not going to do that. Next thing we're going to do is just have her go ahead and head on home since it is, you know, it is kind of late. Um, and I think Connor and Bleaky Poo are sleeping and little dude... AKA Austin, he's also doing the meme. So all is well at the Springston house. Everything is just so peaceful and calm. But then you got Sherry, you know, going out and strutting his stuff, doing a thing. 
videos are getting a little bit low and a lot of you really wanted me to kind of you know redecorate the house and I definitely need to do that I just didn't have time necessarily today I guess so <clears throat> don't worry I will definitely work on that she has a couple new moodlets here such as romance under the stars and then oh why is she upset why is she upset did he find out why is she upset I don't get it she's upset about something and I can't seem to figure out why and I think it might have happened that's so weird I don't know we're gonna actually just have her go ahead and I'll probably just reset her or what I don't know what to do she's like kind of locked up here hmm anyways I'm just gonna reset her oh no maybe not okay we're good I don't know why she was angry but yeah I totally forgot what I was saying um <clears throat> anyways I don't know she's just gonna go ahead home she has a lot of thinking to do things are really getting close with her and Nick and in fact I do believe he may have found out she's cheating on him. <gasps> I don't think so, not yet. But the relationship isn't as good as hers and Nick's, so it's just a big dilemma here, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, anyways, we're going to actually have her go ahead and go upstairs. Probably, you know what, we probably need to actually get the mail first. So let's go ahead and get the mail. I think it might be Austin's little play doll or whatever. And then after that, we'll have her go ahead and go to sleep. I am not going to worry about a shower right now. She has a lot. You know, a lot of other things kind of going on here. And oh my gosh. <gasps> I knew it. Ah! Oh my gosh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do, boo-boo? Okay, so she got a letter from Nick. And it says, I cannot contain my feelings any longer. I am madly in love with you. Oh my goodness. Ew, oh my gosh, Craig Stone, I've been dreaming of you and me getting together and not gonna happen. Um, so it appears that Nick has officially fallen in love with Sherry. So things couldn't get worse. I think they just got a hell of a lot worse, if you would definitely, you know, I guess say that. I, I'm like at a loss for words, to be real with you guys. Like, I don't even really know what to say but I do know that she actually got kicked out of her bed tonight which is kind of sad so it looks like she might have to sleep in this one over here which is fine she's gonna go ahead and sleep there um, but uh, whenever someone goes ahead and wakes up we will go ahead and uh, pick up from there alrighty so we have Sir Connor and he's the first one um, Blake is kind of feeling a little hungry he also wants to talk to his dad so we'll probably switch that out I do believe he was supposed to age Maybe? I don't know. I feel like we kind of passed that, but we'll give him a couple more days. And Austin is actually aging again, which is really strange. Um, I feel like that just kind of happened, but we're going to have Connor kind of be, you know, a little a little helpful around the house and kind of take a load off of Sherry because she usually she's the one that's kind of responsible for making food. And he's going to try to kind of, you know, break the ice a little bit and um, make make some food for the family. She really, really, really wants to see Austin age, or he really wants to see Austin age well, and also rake some leaves, so we'll have to do that. <clears throat> and use a stroller, so we'll swap those out since that's a part of Generations. Which I think is awesome, by the way, because I've been wanting, well, I know when Generations came out, I really, really had been wanting strollers for my game for the longest time and actually couldn't even believe that they put them in, so that is pretty, pretty sweet. All right, I think we've left a lot of food just kind of hanging around. I'm not sure if this is bad. It's just continue cooking, but it kind of looks like it's done. Anyways, this little naughty chop here kind of gets things done a lot faster. And Connor wants to buy a bone Hilda. I thought we had a maid. Maybe we don't. I don't know. Um, Blakey is up. He's going to go and... We need to buy more hampers. I think you guys have been yelling at me for like light years about that, but we need to buy more hampers. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like he has time to eat, which sucks. Connor's a little late this morning. Um, but on the brighter side of things, he actually earned a another cooking skill, so he's now on level five. Hopefully, Sherry will be sweet and come downstairs and have some of his pancakes. I don't know. <laughs> I feel so bad for him. It's like not funny, you know what I mean? But I do feel bad for her. For Connor, mm, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Bobo? All right, hurry up, dude. You're like taking way too much time to make these pancakes. 
All right, there we go. We're gonna actually wake her up and have her. Oh, he's accepted. Um, and eat these. All right, she's getting out of bed, obviously. And hopefully she'll make her way down. She actually has quite a few tattoos. She has two of them. She has one of her wrist and another one on her back. And um, Austin is up, and I think he got his little doll. So I don't know if we can play with Pat. No, we can't play with Pat. I wish they were able to climb out of their little cribs or whatever. That'd be kind of cute. And, of course, he's got a big old booger on his finger. And where is Sherry? Okay, she's going to come sit next to Connor. Wonder if she can actually confess her attraction for Nick. Um, can she could confess to cheating? I don't know if she'd ever be able to do that. That'd be kind of a hard thing. Um, so Connor's actually gonna go up and feed Austin on the floor, and I think he really needs to continue working on his relationship. I mean, they're almost friends, so that's good. I think Austin. Let's see. Austin has a pretty decent relationship with both Sherry and um, Connor, so. We'll just have to intensify that a little bit. And he also needs to start learning how to walk and, and talk and do those things. Because I don't know how much we've taught him. And he ages up super duper quick. So we have like two days to really get that get that down. Um, Sherry, on the other hand, is done. So we're just going to have her. You know what? We're going to see if we have a maid. I mean, she's a stay-at-home mom. She should be able to do all this, right? All right. So we'll just have her clean up the dishes. And go ahead and... Put away some of the leftovers, clean off the stove. She's going to have, like, her day cut out for her. And we can get rid of these. Oh, she actually kind of misses Connor a little bit. <gasps> she wants to give him a hug. Oh, and she also wants to have a girl. All right, we'll swap these out, okay? <laughs> Is she two-timing? Uh, maybe a little bit. Oh, no, this could be some serious drama. Some serious drama. Oh, you need to shh. We're gonna probably train Austin even though he doesn't need it. We're gonna we're gonna kinda top him off like the fluid in a car. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that. Aww. Let's see. He's telling him, sit and be patient, little sir. Alright, he's doing pretty good and he has um Two hours left of the celebrated birthday moodlet, which is really good. Okay, and I think Connor here actually goes to work in a few hours, three hours to be exact. So we're going to get him ready because we want him to uh, kind of work towards this next promotion. And I'm thinking we should probably buy um, some hampers. So I think we're going to go ahead and do that. For each room, because this is like seriously a freaking mess and it's driving me nuts, and I'm sure it's driving you all crazy too. Alright, so let's just go ahead and uh, plop some in every room. Actually, it's kind of funny because Blake doesn't really seem to have like any clothing piles anywhere. Um, and I'm not going to put them in the living room or anything because I think that's kind of strange. So just in the two bedrooms, there, I think that's fine. Um,. Yeah, I wish they wouldn't, like, strip butt naked in, like, the middle of the hallway and stuff. But I guess beggars can't be choosers. Um, and Sherry, is this the maid? Okay, we have a maid. So what are you doing? Exactly. That's what I said. Um, she's kind of sleepy, so we might have her kind of teach, what's his face, uh, Austin here, how to walk a little bit. And then Connor's actually just going to take a really quick shower and probably go ahead and call his mother. Definitely, definitely, definitely want to keep building up their relationship because we don't want him to lose it. I'm actually surprised that they're still alive. Like, I don't want to jinx it because Connor would be a wreck if his mother died. But I'm, I'm really, like, shocked she's still, like, kicking. And I haven't heard from Jake in a while. He's still alive. Everyone's still pretty good. And Bradley is, like, has not even grown up. <laughs> um, which is kind of strange, so we might have to get in there and help that out a little bit. But Richie, Athena's husband, is kind of MIA, I don't even think. I don't even think Richie has been around Athena's family. <clears throat> He's kind of a weirdo, to be honest with you. I don't know how they're doing. All right, well, I guess we'll just... We'll text her after we go to work. Um, oh, we're friends again, so that's good. Let's just finish up these last couple texts here. All right, and then we'll go to work. We're a rookie. So we're level five. 
Mm, we're getting there. We definitely need to practice on our games because looks like Connor's going to start having um, some, you know, actual games at the stadium and stuff like that. And he kind of has a little bit of a gut going on. This guy really needs to move. Like, really needs to move. Thank you. <laughs> and here's Sherry teaching little, little Austin. Aw, how sweet. I love it. I really do. Aw. They're so sweet. Anyways, I think that about wraps it up for part number, I think this is eight or so, seven, eight. I can't even remember. This is terrible. But anyways, I want to thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my very <laughs> next Let's Play. Bye.